Permutations and combinations, example 11. So we've got total number of 10 letters. Five of them are vowels and five of them are consonants. So if you're going to alternate, so we start with vowel, then we're going to start consonant. This arrangement. So we have five choices to have, then five for this, then one vowel is gone, so we've got four choices, same here, and three times three times two times two, one times one. But we could start with the consonant, so we will have the same number again, so we can just times by two. We get the answer to be 28,800. Then, to find the probability of this happening, so 28,800 and the total possible arrangement without any conditions is 10 factorial. So we get the answer to be 1 over 126. Four in decimals, 0.0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0794. Well, let's do example 12. So first we're going to just choose one digit. So there's only one position to fill in. So we can put number 6 there or 8. So 2 P1. So the answer is 2. If we choose two digits, then We've got two positions to fill in. The two choices for this one, so that's two P one. But then here to fill this place, we got four letters available. So we got four, then we're choosing one. So that's four times two, that gives us eight different numbers. If you choose three digits, again, the last digit we got two choices, six or eight, but then we have to fill the other two places, so we got four letters and we have to fill two positions, so that will be four, P2, times 2p1. So this is 12 times 2 is 24. If you choose 4 digits, two p one here we got 4 digits and we have 3 positions to fill in. So that's just 4 P3, which is going to give us 24 times 2, so that gives you 48. If you choose 5 digits, same here, 2P1, but now we've got 4 digits and four places to fill in, so it's 4P4, which is also 24 times 2, that's 48. Then we add them together, so the answer is 130 different numbers.
Sample 13, part 1. Again, we can choose one digit. So this is 4P1. So the answer is 4. If we choose two digits, it's 4P2. It's 12. Three digits, four P three plus twenty four, four digits, four P four. And we got the total sixty four different numbers. Part B or Part 2 because the number has to be odd and greater than 800 so we can only start with 8 or 9 then we have to finish with 1 and 9 so first because greater than 800 we must have at least 3 digits as well so when we have three digits, suppose we're starting with eight, then we can finish with one. Then we have two choices to put it here. So this could be nine or four. Or we can still start with 8, we finishing with a 9, so that can have 1 in the middle, or 4 in the middle. Then we start with a 9, but then we haven't got a choice, we have to finish with a 1. But in the middle, we could have 4, or we have in the middle 8. So there are 6 different numbers. If we choose four digits, all of them are going to be greater than 800. So it's four factorial or four P four. But then half of them are going to be even, half of them are going to be odd ones, so you divide by two, so that will be twelve. So the total answer here is 18.